My name is Andy Davis. Welcome to Prophetic and Biblical Questions. Today I will be speaking with Pastor Desmond Thomas. Pastor Desmond. Yes. The Trinity yes. of the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit. Yes. yes. Is God one or three parts? Yes. Help us understand this. All right. Um, God is one. Um, but the Bible says God manifests himself in three. All right. Um, Father, um, he's God. The Son, he's God. The Holy Spirit, he's God. Um, the Father is not the Son, the Son is not the Holy Spirit, the Holy Spirit is not the Father. Um, but the Bible says they three are one. They work together, they do things together, they have um, the same attributes together, but the Bible says they are three, but yet they are one. Sure. So, so should those three be worshipped equally? Yes, they should be worshipped equally. I mean, God, the Father is to be worshipped, the Son is to be worshipped, the Holy Spirit is to be worshipped. But when it comes to asking, Jesus Christ taught us, he says, ask the Father in my name. You see, there are different functions that are distinctive to each. Um, um, that's why when it comes to prayer, um, we pray to the Father based on the redemption of the Son. So that's why we come in the name of um, the, and Jesus Christ. In the Old Testament, God, we see him operate as God the Father. Um, in the New Covenant, in the New Testament, during, um, in the days of Jesus, we see God being made manifest in the flesh. And this is the dispensation of the Holy Spirit, where the Holy Spirit lives with the church and the believer and walk with us. Speaking of the Old Testament, yeah. the Jews have the book, their book, the Torah, yes. which is a focus on the Old Testament. Yes. So they don't see God and Jesus as equal, but, but Jesus was a Jew. Now, it's a misunderstanding of scriptures because the scriptures, the Old Testament teaches of God and Jesus being equal. Now, if you read this in Old Testament, the book of Genesis, there's a name that is given to God, which is Elohim, and Elohim is in the plural. Okay, and now if you study the creation, the Bible says, and the beginning God created the heaven and the earth. And God said, let there be light. And the Bible says, the Spirit of God move upon the face of the, the, the waters. And the Bible tells us in the book of John that all things were created by, I mean, Jesus. So we see the three of them involved in the creation. Now, when God was talking about the creation of man, what did God say? Let us. So you see the plurality of God there? Let us make man in our image after our likeness. So even in the book of Genesis, it talks about the Trinity there. It talks about the plurality of God there. So it is even, it is there in the scriptures. Now, if you look at the ancient of days in the Old Testament, the description of God by Daniel as being the ancient of days is like, yeah, white as wool and all the rest of it. That was the description of God. Now, if you look at, again, the book of Revelation, when John saw Jesus, it's exactly the same description. So we see throughout scripture that they show themselves to be one, yet three. Thank you. You work. Thanks for watching PBQs. I've been Andy Davis. If you have any questions or would love to share your thoughts, please get in contact using the details below.